Hey guys, welcome to another installment of No Fluff Fridays. Today, I wanna share with you some of the Mac apps that I use to make my experience better. As usual, if you guys are interested in any of the apps or programs that I mentioned, they'll be linked in the description below. The first program we are going to talk about is called Clean My Mac. When I first transitioned from PC to a Mac, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and almost every single one of them were talking about this program and I was skeptical at first, but now I'm a big believer. Clean My Mac is awesome for a lot of things like cleaning up junk in your computer, protecting yourself from malware, uninstalling apps, and many more. So let's say I wanna clear some space in my drive. I can simply click on the Clean My Mac icon on my toolbar and it will do a scan of the files that can be safely removed from my computer. So when I'm working, doing stuff like video editing, I would use this to clear up some of the cache files or temp files that are created. Speaking of files, there's a section dedicated for large and old files in the app itself, which is great. Typically, the longer you have your computer, the more files you accumulate and if you're anything like me, you forget some of the files that's taking up space in your drive. But with Clean My Mac, it's now easier to manage those files because you can see them all in one page and you can decide whether it's time to delete them or maybe move them to a backup SSD or something like that. Another feature of Clean My Mac that I really like is the shredder. Just like hard copies, some digital and electronic documents that I have also contain personal information. So being able to get rid of them and digitally shred them and not leave a trace is important and Clean My Mac helps me with that. If you're new to the Mac ecosystem, uninstalling apps or programs can be a little bit odd. And most of the time when you do it, you end up having like leftover files and folders. And what I like about Clean My Mac is you can do that from the app uninstall a specific program and it will remove all of the files that are associated with that program which is really nice you don't have to go digging for files in folders or even discover it a month or two later another app that i use is called notion if you guys haven't heard of it you are definitely missing out notion is my ultimate productivity companion it's a very powerful tool that I use to organize my personal and work life. It's my weekly task manager, monthly planner, project tracker, resource collector, and more. It's a really awesome tool and you can try it out for free. I actually posted a video not too long ago about how I use it, which I will link right up here. I encourage you to check it out if you want to organize pretty much anything and everything in your life. The next program we're going to talk about is called Spectacle. It's another free app that helps you manage your window. Windows. If you want to organize your windows, you need to click the green button on the upper left corner of the window and pick whether you want it full screen, tile to the left, or right. If you want to get out of full screen or whatnot, you have to click the green button again. And I find it to be very restrictive and unnecessarily complicated. Spectacle makes that process a lot easier. I can move a window in thirds by pressing Control Option and either the left or the right arrow. I can move it in halves by pressing Option, Command, and the left or right arrow. I could even do top half or bottom half by pressing Option plus Command and either up or down arrow. Most of the time when I'm just like researching or looking up stuff, I have it in a one-third, one-third, one-third configuration. And when I'm doing architecture work or video editing, most of the time I have it in a two-third, one-third configuration. I made the switch to Final Cut Pro late last year in an effort to stay away from the subscription model. I'm just tired of paying for stuff monthly and by doing this, it helps me lower my overhead expenses. I don't really wanna talk about Final Cut Pro in detail. There are a lot of videos out there for that already, but I just wanted to mention the plugins I have for it from a company called Motion VFX. They make high quality plugins and templates that makes an amateur like me take my production quality to another level. I bought several packs like the M tutorial that allows me to do stuff like this and also this and maybe zoom in here like this. Each pack contains multiple assets that you can use to step up the production value of your videos. And I bought multiple packs myself with my own money. And that's my only problem with Motion VFX is I want all of their packs and it's difficult to narrow it down to just a few. They are not sponsoring this video, just to clarify, but I do have an affiliate link in the description below if you wanna check them out. 
PDF Expert is my replacement for Acrobat Reader. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to stay away from the subscription model and this allows me to do that. It's got enough tools for my needs like adding comments, signing documents, and merging PDFs. It's nothing too crazy, but it's a good alternative if your needs are pretty minimal like mine. The next app we're going to talk about is called Guest Timer. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. It's $3.99 over at the App Store, and it's basically a timer for your MacBook. It's a pretty simple app that you interact with in a unique way. You need to drag and drop the icon to set the duration of your timer, and of course, you can add your own description. The farther you drag it from the toolbar, the longer the duration. Most of the time, I like working in spurts, and setting a timer is one of the ways I force myself to stay on track. You can set multiple timers at once, which is really nice, and it even tells you how long it's been since your timers went off. This next app helps me minimize the visual clutter in my MacBook Pro with a click of a button, and the best part is is it's free. It's called Dozer. Once you install it, you'll see a dot on your toolbar that would allow you to toggle icons on or off. The idea is you want to move anything you want to be hidden on the left side of the left dot. And you can do this by pressing command and dragging the icons over to the left. After that, you can simply press the right dot to toggle it on or off. It's a simple app, but in my opinion, it's a really nice addition. It's a good way to declutter your digital space and even reduce distraction. And last but not the least, we have Amphetamine. This app allows you to keep your MacBook awake without changing your settings permanently. You can simply click this tablet shaped icon and it will temporarily allow your device to stay awake longer than what your settings would allow. So you can trigger this for whatever reason, like downloading a big file or rendering a video. Personally, there are days when I don't want my computer to go to sleep and so I just turn this on, set an appropriate amount of time for it to stay awake. And it's just nice to know that when I come back from either taking a break or whatnot, I know that my computer will be ready, I can just jump back on easily and I don't have to log in again and all that stuff. It's something that I never knew I actually needed until you know I started using it and now I can't live without it. I hope you guys found this video useful. Please let me know if there are other apps out there that you guys think I should check out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.